Hi there and welcome to another session here with this and Yiffy. In today's class we're going to look at fractions. Yes. So today we're just going to look at shading fractions. So basically we're just going to define what is a fraction and how to identify it. And we're going to use a very fun way. Okay. So I have a pizza over here which I know all of you will love since we're in lockdown and we can't have any pizzas. So I'm going to be making use of this little pizza to show you what a fraction actually is. Okay, so we know that this is a whole pizza. And so a fraction would be a piece of a whole. So if I take this slice, this is a piece of the whole. So this is a fraction. If I take two slices this is also a piece of the whole even a bigger fraction now in a fraction you have a numerator on top and a denominator at the bottom the number at the bottom tells you in how many equal pieces you've cut your whole into now if I look at this pizza over here I've cut it into one two three four five six seven eight pieces and every piece is equal so they are cut into eight equal pieces so then my denominator should be eight right now let's say I want one piece this will be one over eight let's say I take two pieces this would be two pieces over eight now we know that in a pizza there's different ingredients and for this pizza that I made each ingredient is a fraction of the whole. So I'm going to show you what my recipe looks like and what fraction of each ingredient I used and if you'd like you can also make this pizza with me. All right. Please note, before I started, I cut my pizza in eight pieces already, so I'm able to identify which parts I'm going to put what, okay? So the half of the pizza would look like that. The quarter of the pizza would be this piece over here. So two pieces out of the eight is a quarter. Okay, cool. So we're going to be making this pizza following this recipe, okay? So according to this recipe, firstly, I'm going to put the full pizza with tomato paste. So I'm going to use my red paint as my tomato paste. So to make sure everything sticks, I will put on prit after my red paint has dried. So I put on the prit all over the pizza base. So maybe I should have added that into the recipe. Then I will do my full green pepper. So I make sure I spread it evenly across the whole pizza because every slice should have some green pepper all right now i've split it into half veg and half chicken so then this half i'm going to do half tomato so this is my tomato i'm going to put it on half of this side of the pizza Okay, so the next would be a quarter of the veg side, I'm going to put on olives. So if I look at this, it's going to be these two out of the eight, that's then going to be a quarter. So I'm going to put on some olives on two parts. Then next, half of the pizza has chicken on. So this would now be the chicken part, okay? So on this side where I have my chicken, I'll then put some chicken pieces. Okay, then the last one is one eighth of the veg pizza. We're going to put some pineapple. So 
I will not choose the two parts where I chose the olives. I'm going to take one slice, okay? Now, just a reminder, if I look at this here, it's cut into eight pieces. So, one eighth would only have pineapple. So, I will put some of my pineapple pieces on only one eighth of the pizza. Okay, we are almost done. What do we have left? We have cheese left. What do you think? How much of the pizza will have cheese on there? Okay, of course, the whole pizza will have some cheese. So I will sprinkle some cheese all over the pizza. And there we go. Now it's time to put it in the oven. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our introduction to fractions lesson. I hope you enjoyed that one. So in your grade 6 book, you will go to page number 26 and over there you're going to have to indicate what fraction is shaded red, what fraction is blue and what fraction is yellow. So the first thing you're going to identify is what is your denominator? Now remember your denominator tells you in how many equal pieces your whole is cut into. So if I look at the first one, this is one hole, that is one hole, that is one hole. My hole is cut into four equal pieces. What fraction is red? I see one. So what will my fraction be? One over four. What fraction is blue? I see two blue parts. So my fraction will then be two over four. Right? The next one, my hole is cut into nine pieces. So then let's say, for example, what fraction is yellow? I will have 1, 2, 3, 4. So my fraction will be 4 over 9. All right. So if you are grade 6, you will do page number 26 in your DBE book. And if you are grade 5, you will do page number 104. This is part of your term 2 work. What fraction is red and what fraction is green? You answer this part of here. Okay. Now, I think you enjoyed the fraction activity or I think you might have enjoyed the pizza activity today. So if you feel like doing that, please do. In fact, this has now become a pizza fractions challenge. You use your own ingredients, you make your own key with whatever. If you feel like you want to put on some bacon, I just wanted to make the pizza halal, okay? But if you feel like you want to put on bacon on your pizza, by all means. If you feel like you want some mushroom on your pizza, by all means. Just make sure that it's in your key as well. And I need to see the same fraction part. So I need to see full, I need to see half, I need to see quarters, and I need to see eighths. Okay. Have fun and I'll see you tomorrow.